Good morning, ladders and geriatrics. So, today's project is something I've been going on about for a minute. I'm going to work on making a Damascus hammer billet. The first thing I have to do for this is run this piece of steel through the Chandler, Dick Chandler Dickinson quality assurance test. I have got to cut a small strip off, heat it up, hammer it down to blade thickness, and then put it in the vise and snap it to see number one if it hardens and B because I can't say number two with a straight face see if the grain structure is where I like it off a water quench because I don't want to oil quench a hammer billet because all I got right now is a one gallon paint bucket full of canola oil and uh, <laughs> I don't want that fireball <laughs> there's no way to contain that um, and as a as an addendum to my usual shop safety spiel this was gonna happen yesterday, but I fell asleep at like 3 a.m. the night before, or yes, 3 a.m. yesterday morning and slept till about one in the afternoon. And when I woke up, could not get woke up good to save my life. And I had the gut feeling I was gonna be extremely careless in the shop, which results in, you know, <laughs> shaking hands like this. So, like I say, like I've said a few times now, Check yourself before you go down to your shop. If something ain't right, if you don't feel right, or if you got a feeling you're gonna start getting careless, stop what you're doing, take a step back, and just enjoy a quiet day. So I'm gonna cut off a chunk of this, and uh, I'll come back when it's time to draw this out flat and put it in the vise, and we will find out what happens together. It's gonna be hammered out, normalized three times, water quenched, and then broken. And we'll see what we get. So, I'll be back. All right, folks. This test piece is about to come out of the fire and we're gonna smash it flat. Yeah, I didn't cut a big billet down, but that I can hold it there and take care of the rest. And as an addendum, there is nothing in this world more satisfying than using a hammer you made for yourself. Got to love it. All right, I'll be back when it's time to quench and uh, snap this bad boy. been normalized thrice, time to quench. Fuyashika! If it can be hardened, it's been hardened. This is supposed to be uh, from a machine that cuts apart 1,000 PSI paper stones, so I know the steel on the blades is super tough. This came from another part, but I was told it should be the same steel as the blades. We're going to find out. I uh, water quenched some of the blade, and it made a really nasty grain, but it also hadn't been normalized a few times before it was quenched. I know that stuff will oil quench good, but we need to find out about water. So, I'll be back in a minute. Alright people, the proof in the pudding's in the eating, so let's break some stuff. It does harden, but we've got a fairly large grain off of this. 
So I think my next step is going to be to normalize these things a few more times and then requench them to see if it does any better. But that's a good sign. Okay, we are lined up for test B because I can't say number two with a straight face. This has been normalized another four or five times and we're going to see what the grain looks like. Okay, so we got the same grain that we had earlier, which, uh, it's actually a really fine grain. It's just a brighter silver than I'm used to seeing. So I think this will be good enough for a hammer, especially when I temper it back at 450 for a couple hours, get it a nice dark, dark, dark brown. So, uh, I'm going to get on to measuring and cutting and getting everything ready to go. Um, the other half of this Damascus is going to be some uh, hand saws that I picked up for a dollar a piece at Quad State. And I was saving them for something like this. Um, it'll be a shame when they're gone, but they're going to go to something special. So uh, I will see y'all once everything is welded together and ready to go in the forge. Okay, so we have... Seven of these bad boys. They're three inches wide by five inches long, which means they're gonna be a bit excessive for a hammer, but that means I've got room to smash it and smash it here, stretch it out and upset the pattern more. So I'll have like a chunk to cut off to keep it down to a same weight. This is gonna be a beast to stick together. And I've got six of these. They're the same three inches by five inches, but they're all this thick. They are from old hand saws, and I checked them with a magnet to make sure it was ferrous. Um, and given the uh, corrosion resistance it had, if it was non-ferrous, that would mean it was stainless steel, which can be cheap enough in the 440C range. But, um, ferritic means 15 and 20, because they are not going to spend the absurd amount of money to make a saw blade out of ferritic stainless. So, I'm going to get these all stacked up and welded together. And uh, once that's done, I'm going to cut it because things are starting to hurt and I'm starting to get a little careless. So that means it'll be time for me to step away from the shop. That being said, I will bring you back when I've got everything in the vise and it's ready to get welded together. Sound like a deal? It sounds like a deal. Okay, folks, it's time to tack this bad boy together. So I'm going to go ahead and get fired up on that and get some beads run through here. And uh, come back after this is all done to show you what the stack looks like welded up. And it's going to be pretty predictable. Excuse me, sir, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Granger Catalog?
All right, folks, there we have it. A fairly thick block of uh, potential Damascus. I'm not going to call it Damascus because it hasn't been stuck together yet. But if I play my cards right, it can be Damascus. So this is going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to pick this back up tomorrow because I should have a striker tomorrow. So once I get these welds stuck, I can turn it sideways and get it brought down to a square, get the pattern nice and upset, and, uh, and get it drawn out, turned around, and then the two of us together should be able to twist it in my leg vise. So that's the plan for right now. Um, with that, praise the forge and pass the borax. Stay safe in your shops. And thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.